Hi, my friends. Today I'm going to read Gotta Go, Gotta Go by Sam Swope. And when it was time, out of the egg came a teeny tiny creepy crawly bug. She was alone. The creepy crawly bug held up her head, looked out of the beautiful meadow and said, I don't know much, but I know what I know. I gotta go. I gotta go to Mexico. And she creepy crawled away just as fast as she could. She ate and she crawled, she crawled and she ate. She ate so much she crawled right out of her skin. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. Along the way, she met a grasshopper who said, where are you going, creepy crawly bug? Mexico, Mexico, I gotta go to Mexico. Mexico, said the grasshopper. What on earth is Mexico? I have no idea, said creepy crawly bug, but if Mexico is where I'm going, and it is, then Mexico will be wherever I get. And she creepy crawled away just as fast as she could. Next, she met an ant who said, where are you going, creepy crawly bug? Mexico, Mexico, I gotta go to Mexico. Mexico, said the ant. Never heard of it. How do you get to Mexico? I have no idea, said creepy crawly bug, but if Mexico is where I'm going, and it is, then however I go, I will get there. And she creepy crawled away just as fast as she could. And after... She had creepy crawled a very long time. The creepy crawly bug was still in the beautiful meadow and Mexico was nowhere in sight. Oh my, 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 she sighed. Knowing what you know is sometimes very hard. She was so tired she couldn't creepy crawl another inch. So she set herself a bed, tucked herself in, and said after a long nice rest, I'm sure I'll feel like a brand new creepy crawly bug. For days she slept and days hidden from the world. Her sleep was so long and hard and very strange. When it was time, she woke. She woke and found she was indeed a brand new creepy crawly bug. She had a brand new creepy crawly bug with wings. They were orange and black and splendid. She lifted her head and looked out of the beautiful meadow and said, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. And off she flew as fast as she could. Along came, along the way, she met a bird who said, where are you going, creepy crawly bug with wings? Mexico, Mexico, I gotta go to Mexico. Mexico is a thousand miles from here. A teeny tiny bug like you will never make it. But the creepy crawly bug said, I am what I am and I know what I know and make it or not, I gotta go, I gotta go to Mexico. And off she flew as fast as she could. She flew over the farms and highways and cities and towns and forests and rivers. For days she flew and days all on her own and only knowing what she knew, but she still flew and she cried, Mexico, Mexico, I've got to go to Mexico. Her journey was long and hard, full of danger. As fast as she came to a valley, for below, she had millions of bugs, just like her. They were covered from the trees, changing the green to orange. She drifted down and joined them. All but one was fast asleep. Hello, she said. Hello, he said. Welcome to Mexico. I'm so glad to be here, she said, and she fell asleep. Winter came, and the creepy crawly bugs slept and slept, and in spring, the sun woke them. Good morning, good morning. 
Will you dance with me? Why, yes, thank you, I'd love to. And two by two, the creepy crawly bugs flew into the sky and they danced, changing the blue to orange. When the dance was done, the creepy crawly bug turned her head and looked toward home and said, I gotta go, I gotta go, goodbye, goodbye. Again she flew and she flew over rivers and forests and towns and cities and highways and farms. For she, days she flew and days all on her own, only knowing what she knew. And when it was time, oh, that was not the right page. <laughs> At last she came to the meadow. She fluttered for a while looking for the one leaf that would do and landing lightly laid the very first of many eggs. It was the reason for everything. And when it was time, out of the egg came a, teepy, a teeny tiny creepy crawly bug. Good night everyone, have a wonderful night.